Good afternoon, everybody. And as Sid said, we're very grateful that the weather is trending downwards in terms of its heat. We had uh, a couple of days of over 100 degrees this weekend, but I'm proud to report that we actually had a great fair. Uh, so people endured the heat, had a great time, and celebrated the best of Southern California. Uh, this year's theme is Fair Goes Pop. And what we're doing this year is we're celebrating the things that make Southern California special. People come from all over the world to Southern California to experience things that are unique to this area. And as, and as folks who grew up here and lived here, we don't often get to do that. So um, when you go through the fair this year, you'll get to do what we're affectionately calling the LA bucket list and check off things one by one. So I want everyone to stand up for a second, if you don't mind. Um, so I'm gonna ask you a series of questions and if uh, the answer is no, then you're gonna sit down. Okay, so if you haven't been to the Rose Parade, please sit down. And I don't mean going to see the floats at the end. It's actually sitting through the Rose Parade. If you haven't been to Alvera Street, please sit down. Okay. If you haven't been to the Hollywood sign, please sit down. If you haven't been to the Chinese Theater in Hollywood, please sit down. Okay. If you haven't been on the tram in Palm Springs, please sit down. Okay. If you haven't been to Randy's Donuts in Inglewood, please sit down. Okay, we have a couple more people. Okay. Last question. If you haven't been to the La Brea Tar Pits in at LACMA, please sit down. Great. Well, these are our true Angelinos. Come on up. So I'm Yvonne Duran. I work for the city of Laverne. I oversee. I work at the community center. Um, I'm actually originally from Ventura County, born and raised in Ventura. Uh, live in Norco, but I've been to all those things. Um, if not more, we probably should have said Philippe's or something oh, yeah. as well, or one of those. Um, but yeah, so what, 33 years of living in this area. <laughs> Thank you. Um, my name is Michelle Rydell. I'm the president of the Laverne San Dimas Educational Foundation. I was born and raised in the LA area, grew up in Glendale, La Crescenta area, uh, lived west side, lived Hollywood, uh, lived out here. I moved out here when my daughter was one years old, and um, that's going on 19 years. So, all good. Well, here's the good news. If you sat down early, you get to do all of those things plus so much more at this year's fair. Now it's my pleasure to introduce uh, someone who you know as your mayor, but frankly, uh, I know in a very different way. Um, uh, Don Kendrick is someone that I met really in my first few days as the CEO of Fairplex. And um, when in preparing for him, I was studying up on the issues of Laverne. And I have to tell you, when I met with him, he really wanted to talk about education. Uh, Don uh, presented to me his vision for our educational program. It's literally called The Dream. It's, it's in a beautiful chart that he lays out where he has been working closely with uh, another association, Jill Stark, who, um, who, and together, they came up with this amazing program called CTEC, our career tech program. The idea is, is that not every child is gonna go on to college. And that as a community, we don't always think about what pathways should that child pursue. 
The other idea is that, you know, in this era where our young people are attached to this, we have to find ways to encourage them to put their cell phones and actually concentrate on doing something with their hands. And so what has emerged is an incredible program where we do everything from the automotive arts to the culinary arts, urban farming. Uh, we even teach pottery classes here. Um, focus on water, so folk, kids have uh, an opportunity for a career in that area. And it is one of the reasons why I'm here, is to uh, ensure that that program is thriving. Because at the end of the day, this place is really about education, is about uh, supporting our public benefit responsibility. And the CTEC program under the learning centers is one of the, the greatest ways in which we represent it. So please join me in welcoming uh, your mayor, Don Kendrick. Thank you, Miguel. He's absolutely right. This 540 acres, I don't know why we have a fair here when we can educate kids, but we do. And it's a wonderful fair, and it's getting better and better all the time. So thank you to um, Miguel. Thank you for the Fairplex. Thank you for making sure that Laverne has a special day here. I don't know how many of you know it, but about the north 15 acres and gate 15 on Arrow Highway is actually in the city of Laverne. So we're going to take our small, our small slice and uh, make it grow and take advantage of it. But thank you for having us here today. One of the things that I think is, is most impressive about Laverne, I think, is evident in the number of people here and the number of, of the people who are off today, but are here today. And I would like to have, because Laverne is only open Monday through fr uh, Thursday. Friday is not a work day. So if I could have all the employees who are here from the city of Laverne, uh, please stand up and let us say thank you for being here. Thank you. Miguel said uh, that he and, and Bob Russi, our city manager, talk at least once a week. And I think that's probably um, an un under exaggeration because we are in the final stages of doing something pretty incredible. We have our EIFD, our Enhanced Infrastructure Financing District, already approved through the city, which is going to gain, allow us to raise about $33 million and it won't cost our residents anything at all. Well, if we can get the county to do it, and Miguel is right there with um, Bob um, and others, we, we can um, add about 50,000 to that. So that is all infrastructure work, and it will allow the developers to come in and develop some really, really neat things in the area of Laverne, which includes the acreage on Fairplex. So, um, keep those discussions up. If, if you need to call more than once a week, please do. <clears throat> um, the person who introduced um, Miguel Santana was uh, Sid Pinedo. Sid uh, was nine years on our planning commission, chair probably about six years. Uh, extraordinary person. I think you could tell that by the way he spoke. He's the first board member from the city of Laverne. You know, you think 97 years here that this fair has been going on and the first person who has been on the um, board here uh, it we're very proud of that and we're very proud of Sid for making that happen the last thing before we get into the awards is Pomona Day we were invited to Pomona Day last Friday which is always the first day of the week and they have a ceremony like this and they honor some people and Miguel told me that because theirs was so short that ours could be longer. <laughs> so um, I appreciate that, Miguel. Um, so we can just take our time, right? We won't. So we have four award, awards today to give. These awards have been given to these people. They're special people. And so I'm going to start off by asking Jim Kesterson if you will please come up. Jim was um, one of the original uh, residents who approached our fire chief, uh, Jankowski, about starting a CERT program for the city of Laverne since we did not have one. 
And then his wife saw that there was also a need. So both of them are involved. Both are heroes today. And we're going to talk about Jen in just a minute. But since then, Jim's leadership, his dedication, his volunteerism has resulted in the third year of the CERT program continuing to evolve and really thrive. In addition to supporting Jen in her role as the CERT program manager, Jim serves as the CERT program's communications officer, teaching amateur radio courses, and he developed the CERT communications program. And that effort is through the um, coordinating not only the, the CERT by itself, but also coordinating through the police and the fire departments in response to emergencies or disasters. He is also a newly sworn RSVP, which stands for Retired Volunteer Senior Patrol. We have between 30 and 35, between 35 and 40 RSVPs that support our police. And we are over 150 members in Laverne in our CERT program. We have them in our mobile home parks. We have about 40 at Hillcrest um, as well. Something that um, probably one of the reasons that I like Jim so much is that hat he's got on. Um, he's a Navy veteran, volunteers at the Pomona Valley Hospital and Medical Center. He's an avid and also an avid cyclist. Muriel, you would like that. In our opinion, Jim is a definition of a community volunteer, and we are very proud to honor you here today. Thank you, Don. So I, I'll just keep it short. You know, Jim, congratulations. Thanks for all the work that you do, all your volunteerism. It's an inspiration to everybody within the city and, and all of us, <laughs> and all of us up and coming younger people. So, I mean, you're young yourself, but you get what I mean. Congratulations, sir. Thank you. Thank you. So much. Yep. You're an inspiration to people that aren't so young and up and coming too. But, um, on behalf Hopefully. of yes, I'm probably older than most everybody here, by the way. So on behalf of Supervisor Catherine Barger, we want to thank you for being a, such a, a leader to the community and giving your your time, your heart, and Love your energy. Doing it. It's fun. So congratulations. Thank you right, thank so you much. much. Congratulations. Thank you. Here you go. Whoa, look at this. And a nice blue ribbon there, too. Wow, that's really nice. Let's give Jim one more round of applause, please. You can't believe what this couple does as a team. Nice to see. Thanks for being here. So Jennifer, known to us as Jen, with the help of her husband, has been actually the driving force and leadership of the Community Emergency Response Team, or CERT, um, at least this past year. As a community coordinator and administrative officer, she has logged over 1,000 volunteer hours with the, LA, with the Laverne CERT. Jen is oftentimes the face and the voice of CERT, overseeing all email communications, training, enrollment, and event coordination. She also works closely with the Laverne Fire Department CERT Liaison and the Area D Coordinator. Jen, without Jen's dedication and passion, as well as her efforts toward teaching course units and creating program procedures, the Laverne CERT program would not be the success that it is today. Jen is also a volunteer at the Pomona Valley Hospital and has recently become a member of RSVP in Laverne. So a thousand hours in one year that's amazing. Thank you, Jen, very much. Next is Natalie Ortiz. I don't see her here, so I get to brag without her. She is the recipient of the Laverne um, uh, Jim Scranton Award, which is the volunteer for sports. She embodies all the qualifications worthy of this Volunteer of the Year. She is also um, the positive in the face of adversity. She never shows her exhaustion as an avid volunteer. She's always putting others before herself, and she <clears throat> never is looking for awards or for recognition. Natalie has been an AYSO coach, referee, and board member for over 10 years, Cub Scout treasurer for 11 years, 
Cub Scout, Boy Scout treasurer for three years, volunteering at Holy Name and Mary as a script manager and annual festival finance officer for six years, Damien High School service hours coordinator for two years. On any given day, you will find her doing at least one or more of these activities. On top of this, she works in the math department at Loyola Marymount University, is a wife to an equally awesome volunteer husband named Ray, who is a fire captain with the Glendale Fire Department. And she is a proud mother of five great kids. I don't know how she does all this. Anthony, Joey, Dominic, Nicholas, and uh, Talia, who, as you might s suspect, following their mom and dad, are great volunteers as well. So we'll give these awards to um, Natalie, and thank you very much. But let's have a round of applause. This is our youngest um, award winner today, and somebody that um, I haven't told her mother this, but I think I've adopted her as my daughter. Um, oh, <laughs> there's the mom right there. Um, Vanessa Hess, um, I met when probably two and a half years ago when she, we um, decided at the Youth and Family Action Committee in Laverne, which is a group made up of school board, school counselors, uh, principals, um, the police department, Laverne, uh, staff, uh, elected officials, to create programs to help kids at risk. That's the only thing we do it for. I think some of you may remember Dan Harden when he was a council member. This is the first thing he did was create what was called the Red Ribbon Committee, and we later changed it to Youth and Family. I have been involved for um, 25 years. I'm the current chair. And we came up with the idea that we wanted a junior and a senior as a representative to create, help us create really what, what we needed from their point of view, not just from our point of view. And we got lucky because we, we, had, we got a junior named Vanessa Hess. And one of the things that I insist on at our meetings is everybody has to talk. We have a round the table and you cannot come to our meetings without um, interacting and creating good ideas to help our kids. So, so Vanessa became that. She uh, recruited when she became a senior, the junior who is now the senior. Um, but Vanessa Hess is um, starting real soon at UC Irvine. Uh, but uh, lives in Laverne with her mother. Uh, she's had some tragedy in her life. She's overcome that, and she is just an amazing young woman um, that we are get to sit, get to honor today. And I've told Vanessa, and she's agreed that she will never not be a part of what we're trying to do to help Laverne be the best it can be. So, Vanessa, thank you very much for all you're doing. Um, and she has, you talk about volunteer, here we go again, she does all that as well with uh, everything she does. So thank you, Vanessa, thank for you the super job you are. Thank you. Congratulations. I would like to thank all of our volunteers for being examples of our community and making Laverne the best it can be and the best neighbor for the surrounding area that we can be as well. So thank you very much for coming.